Welcome to another episode of the Stubborn Heroes, a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. My name is Adam and I am the Dungeon Master. And the Stubborn Heroes we have today are Cody, who plays Belgarath. Hello. Parker, <laughs> who plays Tyrannus. Hello. Michael, who plays Thanthwi. Hi. Billy, who plays Ben Grimshaw. Oh, that's me. David, who plays Bonnie. Hello. Raymond, who plays Rasuan. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And, of course, we also have a guest joining us today. Uh, you may know her as the Dungeon Milady from the Lucky Die podcast, the talented, the amazing Volanda. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Yeah, Hello. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah, They missed yeah, yeah. the people. Like, yeah, thank you, you guys. Go. Such a welcome. To- <laughs> <laughs> they never know when to applaud. <laughs> they, this oh, is okay. a, it's an ongoing... We need cue cards. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm yeah. on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't hold up, held up a card saying applaud. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, Valanda, thank you for joining us today. Uh, this is actually going to be a three-episode arc that we're doing. We'll, we'll see where it goes, right? Maybe it'll be less, maybe it'll be more. Right? We don't know. Yeah. And we're actually doing a little bit of a cross promotion with the Lucky Die podcast. So while Volanda is here with us, going to be playing as a, as a character, you'll see who, I'm not going to say. A bunch of us, I'm not sure if it's going to be all of us, but a bunch of us are going to go actually over there, aren't we? Yes, you're coming to join me. I have big plans for y'all. <laughs> they may result in death. They may result in you guys screwing the overall plot of my game. Who knows? Yes. <laughs> That's what we'll do. We're, we're uh, really but, good at doing that. Uh, I, I welcome the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so why don't you, uh, Volando, if you wouldn't mind, just uh, because a lot of our listeners, who we call stubs, a lot of our stubs, Uh, may not know about the lucky die about your podcast what's it about so why don't you just uh, uh, maybe give them a bit of information about it yeah sure Um, the lucky die is another D&D podcast we are set in a post-apocalyptic world although my my players keep reminding me it is in progress it's not post-apocalypse so we deal with some pretty heavy dark things where we literally break the world gods are literally dying in front of them Um, and it focuses on the story of three criminals and a criminal they pick up along the way and it follows them in their attempt to save the world Um, that is essentially TLD in a in a nutshell yeah. Okay. Right. Right on. All right. We have, so, a, we have yeah. a, um, our editor is also a player and he composes all of our music, the most amazing theme tune. I will stand by this until the end. Um, and we have a lot of voice actors who come in and dub over my very terrible accents. Um, and there are many of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And if somebody wanted to listen to you, how do they find you? Uh, literally type the lucky die into Google, your podcast catch app thingies or twitter awesome. like you'll find us somewhere so check out Volanda if you like everything uh, that you hear today when she's playing with us If uh, either way go check her out uh, wait till after this episode's done and then go check her out uh, <laughs> go, to, go to the lucky die and, uh, and yeah you'll have some fun so, so let's begin in the last episode after waking up in the gold tooth tavern <laughs> You all met downstairs in the morning for breakfast. Tyrannus, you were awoken in the night by a vivid dream. You were seemingly in an endless storm on a placid rock in the sea. On the horizon, a landmass where you saw six lightning bolts strike in succession, as if cutting the land into fragments. You attempted to swim towards the lightning. A deep connection with the tempest compelled you to swim. Suddenly, a dark tendril gripped your leg and arms. You were pulled beneath the waves. You saw a gargantuan mass of eyes and uh, a dark presence pulling you to the watery depths. And that's when you woke up. I'm sure it means nothing. After you all refueled, Thanthwi casts Zone of Truth on Bonnie. 
who made some cryptic reveals. You made a collective decision to stay together as a group after you left Angle Point, and Silas informed you there is more work available in the town of Harlane, southeast of Angle Point. You had your items identified by the magic item dealer named Tim Bit. You scared the hell out of him, Tyrannus, when you showed him the Ark Stone. Rasuan, you uh, arranged cargo to be loaded into the carriage you were going to take to Harlane uh, that was worth, give or take, over a hundred gold pieces. And it was meant for delivery in Harlane and payment would be given in full then. Uh, any damage that came to this would have come out of your own pocket as it was property of the gold crests. Ben, you arranged... You, you arranged transportation to Harlane by lying to a carriage driver, telling him that you were all traveling musicians. And upon <laughs> traveling, you, you all decided we're, we're not going to stop. We're going to keep going in a straight line. We're not going to stop. So naturally, you guys stopped twice, even though you set the plan not to. Um, you stopped once to observe an owl. And then you kept going, and then you stopped a second time because you saw a fire in in the woods. You didn't investigate it. You didn't investigate it. You just stopped, looked at it, and then just kept going. Uh, that is when you were suddenly ambushed by werewolves. Your carriage driver, who was asleep in the back compartment, was grabbed, ripped out of the carriage, and tossed into the trees. That's when a battle ensued. You, you all fought against two werewolves on a moving carriage <laughs> on the road. A few uh, failed animal handling checks from Ben and no silver bullets in your gun. Uh, you, uh, you crashed the carriage. You all fell off. Thanthui was mortally wounded, just completely ravaged. The poor little turtle was just ravaged by this uh, one werewolf. You went down. Eventually, you all triumph, then you beat these werewolves, and, uh, and then that's where the scene ended. I believe it was, Ben, didn't you get the killing blow on the last one? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think you did. I killed the first one. <clears throat> yes, you did, Bonnie. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, it ended with all of you sort of creating a, a, a shield around Thanthui as you fought against the final uh, werewolf. And I believe, Rasuan, you've stabilized him, right? Uh, Someone stabilized someone him. Did. God, I should have friggin' oh, I should have listened to the episode. <laughs> I, I, that's, that's the one thing I don't remember right now. It was uh, somebody stabilized him. It was either Rasuan. No, because you failed to no, stabilize him. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I'm pretty I, sure I failed. Rasuan ran up there, but he didn't have enough movement or another action. Okay. Um, I want to say it was Tyrannus. That's what I was thinking too. Parker, do you remember? Did you stabilize uh, Thanthui? It's kind of important. I, I should have. I have I no recollection. I want to I say it was, it was not me. And I think so. Rasuwan failed. But, um, uh, ben did the final blow. I was ready to kill the thing, and I, I really don't think that it was anybody. Well, there was nobody else there. So I, I, I think I think what the problem is is because we did a. Um, we, we, the last two episodes were actual play. We did it actually together. So I can't yeah. look at roll 20 and see where the hell you were. <laughs> so we're going to have to just say I it was I, I think it was I think it was Tyrannus. If we're wrong, uh, Stubbs, I'm sorry. I believe it was actually. Tyrannus. I believe it was Tyrannus, though. If so Tyrannus, you're going to go back and listen. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense too. I'm <laughs> uh, Tyrannus, you're you're holding down the wound um, on Thanthweed's neck. He is just completely unconscious. The the blood is just pouring out of this huge bite he just had in his throat, and uh, you have stabilized him though. Um, so I'm just gonna bring you all there. One second. But but there we go. So here's Thanthwe. Everybody in roll twenty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is where I had you all. Uh, there's Thanthwe. You're all sort of surrounding him. Uh, I believe Ben got the last kill on this werewolf, who then reverted back to their human form. Um, 
Yeah. So, this is where you are. What do you do? We need to get Thanthui some medical attention. He's he's not doing well. He's bleeding out. Anyone. <laughs> what are we going to do? Uh, I do not know. I don't know any here. Can Bonnie try and do a medicine check on him or stabilize him? Uh, he's already been stabilized. Okay. You can you can help, but uh, yeah, I mean the wound. Uh, Tyrannus is putting pressure on the wound, and he has stabilized him. But uh, you know, unless he gets some healing, this isn't going to end well for for Thanthui. And Michael woke up at seven thirty a.m. for nothing. Ah. <laughs> can I heal myself? I? <laughs> no, you're can can I see them now? Uh, can you see them? Yeah. Um, let's let's do it this way. So you're all sort of panicking. Is there anything you guys uh, want to do in this moment? I That's, want uh, to uh, get several vials of the blood of the people, like the werewolves. Oh, okay. And yeah, kinda... sure. Um, that shouldn't be too difficult. You don't have to do a check for that. <coughs> That's okay. Because uh, you, you, you have those I'm just vials taking on some blood. You're just collecting their blood. No problem. Yeah. There's lots of it. I'm, pr- I'm almost positive you decapitated that uh, I'm one. pretty sure I, I did. Cut I'm pretty sure you off, cut yeah. its head right off. So lots of blood yeah you you're, okay ben so you walk up and you're collecting uh, the blood from the uh from the dead one here yeah. uh anybody else any initial things you want to do uh, well go on ray the rest of the one was uh gonna just go check out the crate after making sure that it was stable okay so you go on over and as you're walking past Rasuan, mm-hmm. um, Bonnie, what were you doing? I see you walking that way. Too. I was going to walk over toward um, uh, the carriage. About okay. on the way by, of course, you know, grab some vials of blood and teeth and stuff. Okay, from the so at, as you're both uh, walking, right when you get to about here, mm-hmm. so bring yourselves back. Right when you get to about here, you start hearing a sound coming from the forest. You hear uh, growling. Perception check? <laughs> Bonnie will yep. pull out her blade and her eyes will go black. Okay, and uh, perception check, Rasuan, go ahead. I <laughs> uh, rolled 11. You can't tell what's in there, but you, you just hear faint growling, and then all of a sudden you hear sort of a high bitch. <laughs> and then the growling stops. Everyone. There's something in the forest. Can I do a perception check? Mm, yep. Oh, actually, it's gonna suck, but okay. <laughs> Six. <laughs> I see nothing. Volanda. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they don't see you. Great. Um, <laughs> nobody sees you, but you see them. You see what looks like. Just ahead of you, you're still completely covered, so we're not going to reveal what you look like, but you, you see a small little girl there with black eyes holding a blade and a, uh, a Shing human who is uh, who's beside her, and they're both looking into the forest, but they don't see you. Do I see the the rest of the team or just the two of them? Yeah, you see them. When you look over them, them you do see the rest of the team. Uh, one is a, uh, a very large drag, uh, dragonborn, blue dragonborn, who's just holding his hands over the neck of a uh, what seems to be a large turtle on the ground. Um, and, and what looks like a cowboy. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, <laughs> very uh, odd, from... odd sight to walk into, but yeah. yeah. Oh, I've seen worse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you you hear from the forest. Um, you hear her say, "Is there any more of him here?" And then I'm going to throw the the head of the creature I've just decapitated like into the middle of them. Suddenly, the the head of a werewolf comes rolling out to the to the golden road, uh, just rolling in the dirt. And as it's rolling, you see there's still a top hat, a black top hat on top of its head. Um, And as it's rolling, suddenly the head slowly transforms back into its human form. And you see it's the head of the carriage driver. Uh, Are there any more of them here? Who who are you? That's not important right now. And then she's going to like stride into the area where the tall is laying. 
I think we got them all. We killed two of them. So uh, move your ants, move your ants, and then I'm gonna. Well, this is kind of happening. I'll just kind of. Tyrannus, we we should probably cauterize that wound. It's pretty bad, man. Don't you bloody touch it, mate. You will just make it worse. <laughs> Standing or striding in, covered in like blood of whatever the hell she's just killed. Um, there is a woman who's like five foot six, something like that. A uh, human. She has her hair in two bunches, and it falls like roughly to her waist. Um, it's just like dark brown hair with like streaks of grey in it in places. Um, her eyes are brown, they're almost black in colour, and she has a smattering of freckles across her face. She has the scars of burns that cover the top half of her body and around her neck right up to the jawline. The thing that you notice no- noticed most, however, is that her arms have been replaced with hide and bone and gems, left from the shoulder all the way down to the fingertips and the right just from the elbow. It's not magical, just functional. Strapped across her upper torso, um, she has what looks like laminated and hardened honeycomb that resemble ringmail, and this covers like the entirety of the top half of her torso. She has what looks like a rapier, which is black and red, with a green skull as a pommel, and she also has a shield on her um, on one of her arms, which is comprised mostly of sharpened gems. Yeah. Okay. And that's what you guys see. And if you actually look in Messenger right now, guys, I have uh, posted the full art that Nakara made for Volanda's character. So you can see. Okay. Proceed. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Talis is just gonna, like, um, she's gonna drop down to one knee and she's gonna kind of, like, um, kiss the top of the turtle's head because her arms being made with bones and shit like that's not going to get any of the healing that she wants to cross Mm -hmm. and she'll just deliver one point of lay on hands okay that should get you up (laughs) yeah you would all see this holy sort of uh, uh, magic just infuse over Thanthui uh, from this kiss she gave him on his head and the wound slowly slowly sort of closes up on his neck, and then once it's fully closed, suddenly, Thanthui, your eyes open and you take a deep breath. Take it easy, sweetheart. Uh, what happened? That's a bloody good question, as she looks at them all. <laughs> you you uh, got on the bad side of a werewolf, man. Uh, what happened? Uh... Uh, He's going to be incoherent just because of everything that just happened, right? Not because Michael just woke up. No, (laughs) not at all. (laughs) Um, On your neck, uh, Thanthui, where this bite occurred, because it was such a powerful attack and it did so much damage, you're actually now going to be scarred um, where the bite was on your neck. It's going to be this um, sort of grayish... Uh, wolfy bite that runs from uh, your lower neck just to above your uh, your chest. Great. At that Love nice it. fleshy part <coughs> right right above your <laughs> above your shell. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Tyrannus is gonna stand up, take his hands off Thanthui now that he sees he's been <laughs> healed, and he'll ask, "Who are you? How how did you find us?" <sighs> Name's Talis. Most important thing is to get you idiots off the road. What the hell are you doing travelling this road at a time of night like this? Get off. I've got to camp up the road. Come on. We can do introductions properly later. And I'm going to offer a hand down to the tall. I'm going to take that offer and get up. <laughs> it's all like super bony and like, but yeah. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. A bit. I haven't quite numbed these down yet, so come on, let's go. Wait, we we need to check the cargo. Yeah, we we uh, need to get the current. Okay. She looks exasperated at you. Tyrannus is going to go over to one of the crates yeah. that I assume fell off the uh, caravan at some point. Yeah, so what you see is uh, just the caravan is just in shambles. And the contents of it, including like even the, the fine leathery seats that were inside, the table, the 
everything is just smashed into just a wooden piles that, that take up about 30 to 40 feet of the road. And it just seems like a random mess. It's also um, just blood everywhere from the uh, from the battle with the uh, werewolves as well. Um, you see two, only two crates are intact. So uh, Tyrannus and uh, Rasuan, if you could please roll... Uh, um, perception checks. Bonnie, I know earlier you said you wanted to collect some stuff. If you want to do that, do it now. Yeah. <clears throat> Bonnie would walk over and collect, like, teeth from the one that she just threw in blood. And yep. then Roll a like. uh, survival check. I got 11. I rolled a dirty 20. Nice. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Uh, so... Tyrannus, you walk up to that chest that's right there. Um, it seems like it's locked. So you, you, it, it, it's light enough that you'd be able to pick it up, but, okay. it, it, but it is locked. Okay, I'm just worried about getting it and then following Talus. The, so I'm just going to pick it up. The moment and... you pick it up, you hear broken glass rattling inside. Fuck. Tyrannus, is that the one with the gold crest symbol? I have no idea, but it sounds destroyed. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out later. Rasuan, oh, he's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Rasuan, uh, you, as you're approaching, you would hear what sounds like movement as that chest is moving, and you hear a muffled voice from within. <laughs> Uh, uh, he's gonna try to pick it up. <laughs> You'd see that it is, uh, it is locked with a simple lock. It's, it then starts shaking and you hear that voice again. Um, with that perception, is he able to see any, like, symbols or anything? Like, I think you said the gold crest one had, like, something on it. To this the- one is not marked with any uh, gold crest symbol, no. Rasuan, what's going on uh, over there? There's uh, something in the crate. It's uh, making a noise. It, yeah. makes the, it makes the noise again. <laughs> it's just, see, it's all moving. As he punches just, the... Just stab <sighs> your plate into it. Uh, no, that's... No. <laughs> Then open the crate. Ah, uh, fine. This is on you guys. And he'll um, just swing down the bo- uh, the butt of his uh, sword and uh, yep. try to smash open the lock. You just <laughs> ding. Um, and the, uh, the the lock is so damaged from the fall and everything, it just falls off. You're gonna make your roll strength check. Um, and it just it just falls off, and then uh, suddenly something bursts out of the crate. Holy crap! I've been stuck in here forever. Belgarath? What what the fuck are you doing in that crate? Well, uh, after someone summoned the guards and I had to jump in the bush, um, I was looking around for shiny things. Nope, and nope, nope. I, uh, I Rest saw- one's gonna push Belgarath's head back in, close back the crate, and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> so are we stabbing the thing in the box, or are we... Not stabbing the thing in the box. Like, Titus has a sword pointed at the box. <laughs> we know that goblin. Yeah. He. Oh, fuck's uh. sake. <laughs> I'm gonna burst open. Don't stab me. No, no, no. Don't stab him. Okay, okay. Let's, That's what uh, I grab... said. Let's, <laughs> let's get off the road. <clears throat> yeah. I've got a camp over here. I've got it all set up with more people doing watch. I shouldn't get quite so surprised. Come on. Adam, FYI, I rolled an eight and a zero for survival. Uh, yeah, but the <laughs> eight was the eighth, the higher one. You so get. I got advantage. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, David, uh, Bonnie is able to collect five human teeth. Okay. <laughs> That's the second time I've rolled a zero. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Kyle you- Grath is going to join everyone else. Ow. So, uh, Talus, um, yep. you, I'm just going to reveal here so you can uh, lead them. There you go. 
Lead the way. All right, this way. Stay close. Don't make too much noise. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're all moving through the, the foliage in the forest. Um, suddenly there's a small little clearing where uh, ahead you see a glowing fire. Where apparently I conveniently put up two tents for myself. Yeah, isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> This is very luxurious. Oh, so I always carry spares. Oh, it just kind of stretches a bit and. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to put down the crate that I carried uh, beside one of the tents. And you just hear just broken glass shifting and moving as you place it down. And the crate you, has the uh, symbol of the gold crest upon it. You. You chaps working for gold crest? Uh. Indirectly, yeah. We were supposed to deliver this uh, crate. What? Uh, you going to Harlane? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a, that Conveniently, is. so am I. You want to say thank you for helping out uh, Dan Pui? If you hadn't been idiots and travelling on the road, you wouldn't have needed help in the first place, now would you? That's not very nice. I, I, I told them not to stop. Well, you're the smart one, and you got damage for it, so the rest of you remember this, all right? And she's kind of, like, doing the bony finger pointing at everyone else. <laughs> I'm not sure do anything. And after that, Banthwee's just going to fall to his back and rest. <laughs> <laughs> we were fine. We killed them. It's okay. Uh, I'm yeah, just going to, you... for the sake of uh, clarity and brevity, just saying that everything from here on is considered long rest, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'll regain my one light on hand. <laughs> So, uh, what what happened? What did I miss? We got to kill werewolves. It was fun. Tee? Sounds like I missed the party. Well, we could have used your help. I think it's more appropriate to say we got fucked up by some werewolves because our caravan's gone and we're in a camp when we should be you know, making money. I don't think we are making any money. You sound, you you hear what the crate sound like? The yeah, Gold Crest kicks it. <laughs> Gold Crest don't like his shit broken. I can I tell you that for a kick off. He is not going to be the best pleased. Uh, while I'm doing this, I'm like putting like my sleeping bag on the on the tall because he looks really sick. <laughs> I'm doing the thing where I'm tucking you <laughs> in. Oh, uh, thank you. You're nice. You're welcome. Uh, I guess uh, we uh, have, we haven't introduced ourselves, have we? Nope. I don't know no. anything other than you're a bunch of weirdos <laughs> and idiots who went on the road. So how about we uh, change that perception? Yeah. Tell me uh, what you. Very stupid. Uh, well, you don't look the best, but you live, which means you can learn from your mistakes. So carry on. Uh, uh, I am uh, Russell Watt. All right. So Bonnie will walk up to a big. <clears throat> I'm Bonnie, and then she'll hold out her uh, her stuff. Bonnie, big, and this is my best friend Susie. I don't trust that. Hello, Bonnie, and hello, Susie. How are you doing? <laughs> We're good. We're really happy that we got to kill those monsters. It is super fun killing monsters, isn't it? I mean, there's something very good about it. You're doing a good thing. And then I Wait, am I supposed things. to say that to kids? <laughs> <laughs> then Don't I worry. collect all of their things, and and that's even more fun. Oh, all right, a little bit more creeped out. Yeah, Bonnie's uh, a <laughs> yeah. We're not, we're not sure about her yet. Yeah. Bonnie, she's Bonnie, she's weird. Bonnie's just wait, scary. she gets better. <laughs> she pulls out her bar jar of teeth. Look at all the teeth I get. She she's yes. scary. Like for some her. reason, for some reason, we like collecting teeth and bones around here. I'm not sure why. Uh, Taylor almost reflexively puts her arms behind her back since they're complying with bone. <laughs> <laughs> All My name is Tyrannus, by the way. Nice to meet you. Did a good job on your. Oh, what's your name? Tyrannus. <laughs> no, I'll make the other one. She looks down at uh, the tool. 
Uh, I, I, I'm saying three. Yeah, Tarana, she did a good job on Vantwe. Like, properly saved his life. Good job. He, he's my best friend. And Xanthi's my best friend. Please don't ever leave me alone with her. <laughs> She's scary. I'm, uh, I'm getting that feeling. <laughs> and what about, uh, what about Goblin in a Box? How you doing? Oh, uh, I'm Bogorath. <laughs> Goblin in a Box. <laughs> A team you named Goblin in That's a Box. That's the name of this episode. <laughs> Goblin in a Box. That kind of spoils the spoils it though. In a box. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no one Melgarath. Name. Melgarath, by the way, wait, wait, you never told us what happened to you. You were looking for shiny things once you jumped into the bushes. Then uh, what? Uh, I found the chest, and when I got... When I was looking for the chest, I couldn't reach something down into it, so I got into the chest, and it shut close on me, and then all of then all of a sudden it's locked. Did you get the shiny thing? Uh, I think I did. <laughs> How do you not know if you got the shiny thing, man? It looks shiny in the box, but I don't think it's shiny right now. Well, you're, you're probably just hiding in that box to avoid the werewolves. I didn't even know there was werewolves. Yeah, I had yeah. to. I had to hide because someone called the guards. He just said it himself. He did. He was hiding. I, on the other hand, I am Ben Grimshaw. I'm also you, known man. as uh, the Grim Reaper in some parts. <clears throat> Do I want to know what parts? Probably not. Oh, I'll just call you Ben then, if you don't mind. Right. Works for me. Right, and he'll, so. he'll kind of just <laughs> nudge uh, Belgrath like he's just and give him a wink like I'm just fucking with you man <laughs> Belgrath is just going to stare up at Ben give him a little dirty look <clears throat> so tell us tell us more about yourself where, where do you come from um let me have a look did they even say who he did was? Did I even give my cat? Did I even give the village a name? Uh, no, you can make it up or uh, I can show you sweet. the world, um, world, world uh, map I'll here. Hold on. Here you go. I'll, I'll, I'm making it up as I go along. This is how Ooh, I live. Oh, um, crap. I'll come from a little town called Falsam. It's uh, sure. nothing big or special, really. Just a couple of people, a couple of villagers. Nothing much, really. Just on the road looking for things. Contracts to fill, you know, that sort of thing. So I take it that you know these roads well. You say, you said to stay off the roads at all costs. You know that these parts are dangerous. I take it. Yeah, I've been to Harlane a couple of times. Met with his, uh, met with his lordship more than once. Um, yeah, I'm on my way there now to do a job for him. Hopefully, the last job I'll ever have to do for him, and then I can go back home. So fingers crossed, eh? Well, we have our job, but I don't think that's going to go very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you break a bunch of shit, he's probably going to be well pissed. Um, but if you're looking for work, uh, he probably won't object to you joining my job. Uh, I don't think we will have a choice. I think the, uh, uh, they said in the crate it was uh, like a thousand gold something. <laughs> oh, well, shit then. Yeah, he's going to have no problem with you joining my mission. Um well, if we yeah. tell him the truth, he'll be fine. No, he he really won't. He's a he's a dick. Um, <laughs> he's not the nicest person I've ever met in the world. And Bonnie, you barely tell us the truth, so it's okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, I want to go over to the chest that I dropped and try and open it and like oh. see what the oh. what the damage is. No, Torres, they said do not open. I, I want to. I want to open it. Let's, oh my god! <laughs> does it? Does it have the gold crest crest on it? Yes, it does. Uh, yes. Oh, I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> She's just sitting there, like nodding, completely against what she are, just said. And are you drinking like this? <laughs> wouldn't advise. Yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. I'm drinking coffee, but like, oh, I wouldn't advise it. Nodding as she drinks uh, whatever it. it is she's drinking. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm going to go over and open it, anyways. <laughs> okay, it is locked. Um, 
it's a very fine lock. You can. Are you? How are you going to try to open it? Uh, good question. I'm going to break it. Uh, break it. Yeah, I'm just going to try and break it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Roll strength check. You want to investigate uh, uh, the lock first? I, I could try and pick it. Oh, try to. You uh, already tried to break it. Roll strength check. <laughs> um, can can? Oh, okay. Thirteen. <clears throat> Got down. You. How, how are you trying to break? It? Like, what are you using? I'm gonna use my uh, trident that I'm holding and use like the back of it to like okay. smash it open. Just hear one. You've uh, you've definitely marked it up and damaged it, but you have not broken it. Oh shit! <laughs> Does anyone want to help? Uh, Reson's gonna go up and grab the trident to stop him from doing it a second time. <laughs> um, uh, B- B- ben, Ben, you said you could uh, uh, pick the rock, right? <laughs> Well, I can try. I don't, uh, I don't know what kind of lock it is. I think I think it might be better than hitting it with this stick. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a uh, lock picking, uh, Ben. Sleight of hand, is there? It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a seven. So uh, you go up with a with a pick, and all of a sudden it gets stuck, <laughs> and you sort of yank, and you pull out the lock. Um, Core, core from the from the inside, and it just sort of half comes out, dislodged, and your pick is stuck in it, and the lock is just looking completely fucked up right now. Is this the kind of chest that is like the the domed top with like the hinges on the back end and like the padlock at the front sort of thing? Yes. <sighs> All right, we could uh, could try moving the hinges. Fuck this lock crap, and then we can just break it open there. All right, do you do that? Taylor's? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't exactly encourage this, but fuck it. It wasn't me, all right? She's and not like, on the hook for me it. Me and the boss have got a thing. So, yeah. yeah, I'll go over and just, like, use whatever tools I have available, just kind of, like, smack out, like, the pins in the hinges. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm and then just that not should sure give them a what, bit of... what, if that would be based on uh, um, strength or dex. I can't really... Either one. Pick one and roll. Just roll. I, th- I think dex... <laughs> Please. Because I hope you don't roll low. <laughs> she is dexterous. <laughs> okay, dex. Um, You're dex based, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see what I could argue. <laughs> uh, she's a very good tinkerer. This is what she does. So. Okay. That gonna... is true. So uh, take advantage. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to make it roll advantage, but I'm just going to get twice. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll take the first. I think Jackson hit save. <laughs> 14 is enough without. <laughs> It's fine. Yes. You're able to, to get off the hinges and flip open the chest the opposite way. Yeah. Takes a bit of brute strength, yep. but there's plenty of us around. Yep. Right. What do we see? Inside, you see several uh, uh, parch- parchments that are rolled up and a ton of just shattered fine glass. I don't suppose I could use mending on the glass. You could you could use mending and, and fix one glass, sure. <laughs> I, I'm gonna pick up some shards I, of the glass. Yeah, and it, and and. What's your fingers? Okay, you're, you're able to mend into what looks like a fine teacup with the symbol of the gold crests on it. But even when you mend it, still everywhere you've mended where the glass has been put back together, there's uh, a crack. On the glass, indicating I, I that it's been the, mended. I take the like mended teacup and I just put it delicately back in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> I I I tried. Oh boy! Oh, we are so screwed. <laughs> what yeah. if we just just bury this and run away? <laughs> we, you mean don't go to Harley? Eh? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> well. Is there anything else of gold crests which is broken and smashed beyond repair? Like, there's the box full of, like, broken glass and shit right over there, and she points to the other box. (laughs) Well, then it just happens to be that they're all broken. If we just take the scrolls as they are and say this is the only thing we could save, uh, we'll go grab a werewolf head. Oh, shit, they're human now. We'll go grab a werewolf head and, like, someone tries to pick up blood and shit. Like, we'll just take them back, we'll explain the situation, I'll say that you're idiots, and I'll take you along on my job. 
then you probably won't be quite fucked a lot. Uh, right. Yeah, that I, uh, I will go with that. Now, the question is, are any of you really good at lying? Uh, ben? <laughs> Bonnie? Bonnie? Damn. Bonnie's I'm a very... All right. <laughs> Bonnie's a very bad liar. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have very a plus bad. three. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll, I'll guess we'll play it by ear. <laughs> she like scratches the back of her head with a like, bony finger, like, yeah, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Nothing ever works when it comes to us. So, you guys are around the fire. You're gonna take a long rest. Um, just if you wanna do any light activities or anything like that, just let me know. Um, uh, I'm, I'm assuming how long you're gonna rest for. Just t- t- Taylor, you, you'd probably be advising when, when, when should everybody rest until. Uh, we'll rest until dawn. I mean, it depends how long it takes uh, Thanthwe here to heat up. Yep. To get to Harlain from here, it's uh, it's about it's going to be probably about five or six hour walk. Uh, like they weren't they weren't that far from Harlain. And I uh, uh, is there a time that I'm expected to meet with the Lord Goldcrest? Uh, just or is it just turn up? Just tomorrow. You just know it's right, tomorrow great. because you know. Uh, uh, the thing is going to happen uh, the day after, tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we'll be up at the crack of dawn, so um, some of you better rest up and do whatever it is you do. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll do watches or some such. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Yep. Are um, there any more monsters out here? Well, there are a fair few monsters out here. Lycanthropes, werewolves are just the start of it. Um, there are flying creatures which will just breathe fire, but don't worry about them. They may or may not be canon in this world. So I don't know. <laughs> they are now. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> about the size of a phoenix, though. I'll stop them. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Can we go kill some? Uh, not today. I mean, uh, maybe later. Maybe later, but not 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 in new. I've got a thing to do. So. What? What is it you need to do? Well, um, the reason I left my home is because I'm uh, I'm I'm looking for my kid. I I think he's probably a little bit older than you now, but yeah, I'm, I've got a lead. Uh, Lord Goldcrest is helping out. Got a lead of his own too. So yeah. And like she looks a little bit sad, and like she touches this like medallion, uh, this locket at her neck, at her throat. But the the locket looks like it's been like tried to break into with her giant hands, but she can't open it because it's too fine. Like she looks a little sad at that. What? But we'll get it. It's what? fine. What happened to your kid? Well, we're talking about monsters. Um, there's a there's this old crone-looking thing long hair, darkish, kind of greyish, mottled skin seems to be melting and uh, it arrived one day and there was light and it burnt so fiercely and when I grabbed my kid it uh, couldn't tear it from its grasp so it took my arms and ran off with him and she kind of like lifts her like stumps with like the bones attached uh, was like, so I had to go build new ones and uh, that's how I'm going to go find him it's, we think it's called the Wretched Hollow. So that's what we're going to go hunt, and that's hopefully happening night after next. So we've only got a very small window each year to do this. Bonnie will put her, her hand on her shoulder. Like, I'll help you. I like killing monsters. Well, great, because I, I fucking love it and all. Um, Smack very close to my heart. She kind of like has like half a smile looking at this psychotic child. <laughs> <laughs> very psychotic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ogre. Yeah. I have some money for you. Monies? Yeah, Ooh. from the last job. And then you jumped in the bush, ran away. I was going to keep it, but you know, you came back. Uh, okay. He's gonna hand uh, Ras one's gonna hand over the ten. Game. Ooh. I would have laughed if you just gave him five. <laughs> <laughs> ten gold, nice. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> thank you. 
uh, Rasulon's going to kind of just walk away and, and <laughs> rest. Yep. So, uh, is there anything in particular anybody would like to do until morning, um, until the crack of dawn when you're obviously going to probably leave? I want to uh, study and experiment with the uh, like and blood. Okay. Uh, how, are you, how are you going to do that? In my lab. Okay, so what does it look like? So basically I'll uh, pull out of my pocket a little square. I'll press the button and then throw it to the ground and it'll just unfold and double in size and then unfold again and double in size and do so until it's about four by four square. Like four feet by four feet and then I'll just kind of pop it up. It'll be like a little workshop. A uh, little workshop bench with a with with small little seat stool for you to sit on. And I'll Wait, just kinda... is 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 Ben the one with the mech arm and mech yes. leg? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, cool. We'll be talking. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> magi tech cowboy. God damn. Keep it in character. <laughs> you can discuss that in character. <laughs> so in, then, a minute, okay. in a minute. In a minute. Yeah, you're. Go. So now I'll pop up my workshop and just kind of. Sit down and just start studying it. And yep. So do do doing. a um, uh, do, I'll let you do a medicine check first on the blood. That's a six. You don't get much in that regard. So you sort of experiment a bit with the blood. You mix it with a few other uh, chemicals and concoctions, and you don't really get any uh, any reaction. So you can't tell. It's not reacting any different than, like, regular human blood. All right. You're not sure why. But, yeah, you're just sitting over there. Hmm, you're experimenting. Yep. Uh, just, like, checking it out under the microscope, just trying to figure out how it works. Yep. Kinda like, what makes lichens tick. And that, that's what I'm going to do with my time. Okay. Belgrath is uh, going to quickly go over to Ben and like start picking stuff up from his lab and be like, Ooh, what's this? He'll just slap his hand. Don't touch that. You know, keep working. Don't touch that. <laughs> He'll pick up another item. It's like, Ooh, what's this? Put that down. It's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it before, though. Don't, don't, don't touch it. It's expensive. That's why you had never seen it before. You're a goblin. It's like having a toddler, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> What do you mean, because I'm a goblin? Are you being racist? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> you, you don't typically find goblins wearing expensive, fancy jewelry now, do you? I've, I've seen, like, maybe two of them. I'm not talking bone now, man. I'm talking jewelry, gold, diamond, you know, fancy shit. Yeah, I've seen two of them. <laughs> two? 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 <laughs> See, see, they, they, they might have killed and stole all of it, but they still wore it. <laughs> <laughs> Goblins. Man. If you can't live with them, you can't live without them. Actually, you can. Do we really need this guy? You'll say to the rest of the group. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, this is not going to kill stop him. No, don't do that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> What's uh, Tyrannus doing? Uh, Tyrannus is going to be uh, off in the corner, away from all of the chatter, uh, meditating with his holy symbol. Okay, that's fine. So you're just going to stay away? Yep. Just chilling. And Thanthwi? Uh, Thanthwi is actually going to be uh, sitting kind of alone, but he's going to try to sculpt a replacement cup out of the sand around the camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, using uh, water and, and the sand, you're just going to try and make, like, clay, mm-hmm. and then... Yeah, yeah, by, by all means. Um, gosh. I'm drawing blanks today on checks. I don't know what type of check that would be. I mean, making clay clay pot. Nature? nature? Yeah, nature. nature absolutely. Maybe. That's it. Make a nature check. Yeah. Uh, or... Or survival, whichever one you have a better chance at. Hmm. That one. You may. Ah, uh, thirteen. You make a presentable-looking clay. Uh, uh, yes. M- uh, little teacup. Yep. 
It's so. too bad. It's too bad we don't have Aerotel. He could just press the digitize that shit and just make it look fancy until we handed it off. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so I'm going to have the little cup that I made, and I'm going to go walk up to Taylor's and be like, look, look, I, I made a replacement. A, a replacement cup? Yeah. Uh, for me? It, 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 it's it's for the chest. We can we can put that one back in its place, and, and then he won't know that it's broken. You are absolutely darling. And she kind of like kisses him on the top of the head again. <laughs> he like uh, blushes a bit. I, I don't I don't know necessarily that he'll appreciate this. Maybe you should give it to someone who deserves it a bit more than Lord Goldcrest, uh, like someone you, you care about, like your best friends. Okay. Um, he's going to uh, turn a walk away, and he's going to look for Tyrannus. Yep, Tyrannus is uh, meditating off to the side. He's going to walk up to Tyrannus and be like, I-, I-, "I made you a special cup for a replacement." Tyrannus will open one eye <laughs> and look at him, <laughs> and just silently hold out his hand in order to take the cup. And he's going to hand it to him. We can replace her. Thank you, Thanthui. And then he closes his eyes again (laughs) and just holds the cup. (laughs) And Thanthui's going to walk back to the tent and sit back down. (laughs) Thanthui's adorable. Oh, Thanthui. I'm going to adopt him. He's mine. He's a a fan favorite. Um, so, <laughs> uh, anything else important, or are we going to move on to Don? Or, sorry, Talis, did you want to have a, did you? Yeah, I think once, uh, Belgrath has been, uh, suitably chastised <laughs> for grabbing stuff, <laughs> uh, like, Talis is going to have taken her armor off and, like, taken off the, the, the shield she has. Um, she still has the sword, though, she's never without that. Um, yeah, and she'll just come over and, like, sit nearby and say, uh, you... Did you build your arm? And you're, you're like, sorry, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm like making you upset or anything or prompting anything you don't want to be prompted, but did you make those? That is some quality workmanship. Well, it wasn't me alone, but uh, yeah, uh, I helped create Magi Tech, is what I like to call it. And then so uh, they'll actually remove his upper part and show that he's actually more mostly robotic like his his chest is actually most mostly synthetic he has a like a green emblem pulsing like uh almost like a jewel at his heart almost like similar to like iron man but it's like a green <laughs> and it's uh down to his leg his legs fully th- synthetic and his whole left arm is synthetic and part of his skull is actually synthetic Wow, blood! I mean, did you did you uh, like? Is this a choice you made, or was it something you've had to adapt to? Because holy crap, you say magic holds this together. So a, a little bit of magic, a little bit of technology. Nice. Where where did you get this? Oh, uh, you said you made some of it, but where did you? I well, mean, I, I'm probably going to replace this as she like raises one of her arms, like oh, I'll probably replace this with something a bit sturdier in the future. But where did you get this? A good friend of mine, uh, when uh, I, well, I got attacked by a vicious creature long ago, and he found me and helped keep me alive, and we developed this together. Well, you're putting it off well. You've got an aesthetic that, like, bloody suits it, mate. It's so nice. Can, can I <coughs> look at any of it a little bit closer? Sure. And then he'll uh, actually disconnect his arm and just... Hand it to her. <laughs> just kind of t- yeah. She takes it in one hand and feels like she kind of disconnects it's, from her elbow yeah. and hands her other arm over. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's 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 hefty and it's uh, and it seems to be a, uh, a a some sort of strange amalgamation between technology and magic, where um, the the these power cores that you see around the arm, Talus, seem to be infused with magic that. Power the rest of the contraption. It's almost like what you've done with your arms, but just using metal 
instead of bones and sinew and leather. And Swabbing. seems to be done very precisely and uh, very, uh, very efficiently. Well, uh, perhaps one day I can... Um, she's like handing the arm back. Perhaps one day when I finish what I'm doing, I can maybe look you up and... So I'll, I'll take my arm back and kind of pop it back on and... Sure, uh, I'm sure I could work something up there for you. Thanks. I, I mean... I, I might not need it. I might be okay with, with these. And she kind of like, it's a long process for her to strap hers back on. Yours is like, and then yeah. it goes. Hers is like a five minute ordeal. Um, yeah, there's, and even when he reattaches it, like you hear the gizmos and the, and the, uh, and the clockwork workings inside just like shifting and connecting very quickly. She's super jealous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's actually the first time that the the rest of the guys would have seen that as well. Yeah. This is no one's really mentioned it. Like the magic text was like, "Oh, you you're interested in my magic?" <laughs> All right. Like, oh well. Uh, let me show you. Um. Russ, I was just gonna be in the back, like peering, like from the trees, just watching. <laughs> Bonnie would have no idea about anything about it, so she's just busy playing with Susie. Yep. Ba, 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 ba. Um. <laughs> Anything else, or are we going to move to dawn? <laughs> I'm good. Okay. So, you all rest for the night. Um, we're not going to do any uh, checks. It's okay. Nothing's going to come at you. The werewolves have been taken care of. Um, I had planned a whole story about that fire you guys saw in the woods and a whole reason why the werewolves are there and everything, but you guys just decided to drive past it all, so we're not going to get into that. Um, <laughs> Hey, I said to stop, I'm just saying. <laughs> you guys did stop for a second and then kept going. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, the morning, eventually the uh, sun rises on the horizon and uh, you all wake up feeling refreshed, so everybody click long rest um, in uh, D&D Beyond. And you all wake up. Just imagine it's daylight here. I didn't get a daylight version of this map. So, what do you do? Uh, Russell's gonna kind of, you know, get up, walk outside and just, like, check the surroundings and all that kind of stuff, you know. Just taking out all in. Yeah, the, uh, the, the birds are chirping, the insects are, are buzzing. Uh, it's not humid. There's a, it's a nice little breeze out today. The sky is blue and clear. And uh, uh, some of that torment from the night before has, uh, has sort of faded away. And you feel at peace, Rasuwan. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Belgrath is going to walk out of the tent in his armor and do a big stretch. Like, just like everything is normal. Mm-hmm. Anthony, you, you yeah. awake? <laughs> he's gonna. Anthony slept outside. Okay. You know, he's a turtle, right? So he's just gonna like peer his head out of his shell, Boop. notice it's daylight, and he's just gonna like stretch all of his limbs out. Yep. And then get up. And, uh. Um. Tyrannus, did you, uh, just meditate all night long? Okay. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so you all meet at the campfire in the morning. Talus, you know that you got to take the. You have to start heading uh, southeast before you'll reach Harlane. You know that taking the main road during the day is uh, is usually safe. Um, yeah, uh, I I say my morning prayers to my goddess, and then I. Uh, I basically do the mum thing of making sure everyone has their supplies, everyone ate, everyone peed before they left, like, and get everyone, like, shivving along the road. <laughs> you're, you're the mom that they've needed. <laughs> yeah, like, have you got your supplies? No, put your, put your shoes on properly. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of that going Good. on. Uh, she gets everyone moving. Then three. Yeah. How are you, how are you feeling? 
I, I'm okay. My neck's a little itchy right now, though. Yeah, don't don't scratch that. That's uh, uh, uh You have a crazy scar there. Yeah. L- really? I I can't see it. Yeah, it looks really bad. I think it looks pretty cool, man. It looks, looks, it looks a pretty badass. <laughs> Gonna look like a warrior. Me a warrior. That's the mark of battle. Yep, that's the mark that you survived. That makes you a badass. Yay! <laughs> you can tell people that you got attacked by a werewolf and you won. But you got the scar to prove it. Yeah, I. Too. That, that's true. I I can I can be that person. This uh, conversation occurs as you're uh, traveling up the road <laughs> on your way to Harlane. Um, the uh, the walk is uh, actually not too bad. You all uh, are happy to be able to stretch your legs. Um, I'm guessing that you just left the caravan there, broken on the road. <laughs> um, we did we uh, leave the ch- uh, crate, the chest behind? Yeah, nobody mentioned it, so yeah. Well, we took the scrolls, yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we yeah. took the scrolls, yeah. and uh, you have one teacup that's uh, <laughs> sort of mended and and uh, you know has cracks all over it, and another teacup made of like clay. So okay. I hope I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Lord Goldcrest will be fine with that. Um, no, no. <laughs> nope. All right, so you're all walking. I'm going to say that you've walked for about two and a half hours, just having you know uh, random conversations with one another, um, and uh, until you eventually ahead of you, you see a bridge that uh, crosses over a small little river. Um, perception checks, everybody, please. I perceive two legs laying on the floor. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> oh, uh, I got boy. a nat 20. Oh, nice. Hey, nobody else needs to roll anything then. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. 20. Okay. 18. 18. 18. Oh, wow. So, uh, Talus, uh, Belgrath. Um, where's, did you say 18 too, David? I said 18, yeah. You you got seven. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Did I roll up the front? No, you rolled rolled perception. perception. I rolled seven, sorry. (laughs) That's why I'm like... I I think he saw Rolanda's roll. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I did. Oopsie. (laughs) (laughs) I think 18's better. I'm just going to steal your roll. It's better than mine. (laughs) (laughs) Everybody can do that once. (laughs) David, that's... (laughs) Everybody gets one. I want Parker's not 20 then. (laughs) Yeah. Can I borrow that as well? (laughs) All right, so I'm going to say that... uh, uh, Bell... uh, Let me say... It's just my perception is Belgrath. It's Talus. Uh, you two would see ahead of you uh, first before anybody else. What looks like a body on the ground on the bridge. Um, Tyrannus, your keen sense of smell as a dragonborn. You smell uh, some sort of creature nearby it's has terrible bo it's uh it's like um just sweat filth like almost like sewage just something that smells horrible is nearby something smells like shit (laughs) it might be the dead thing (laughs) All right, so it's funny you two are up front, but yeah, you two, uh... So would Bonnie smell it now that it was pointed out to her, or no? No, it's just his keen sense of smell and his nat 20. Oh. So I would know that... You said I would smell some kind of creature. I would know that it's a creature that's producing this smell? Yeah, and it's somewhere over here. Okay. It's a bridge troll. Uh, it, It smells like something's alive over there. Off to the left of the bridge. And you hear. (laughs) 
a hobo jerking off. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, I'm stepping away from this person. <laughs> it's not the first for me, guys. See, that's the sort of fucked up thing. This is what we were talking about. That sort of fucked up thing that we'll say, but we'll never make the show. <laughs> no, it's too funny. How can you not have that? <laughs> right. All right. All right. I'll uh, that one. <laughs> her ass one's gonna approach carefully uh, with the sword drawn. Uh, I want to go with, but be like a couple of steps okay. behind. Yep. I'll go with as well with my uh, bone out. Yeah, and what you see... Like a few steps. Nice. Yeah. Bone. Phrasing. <laughs> okay, just... We gotta... um, there are many, many bones on this oh, bridge. No. Phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> he has a giant magical femur bone. He's a barbarian. That's his uh-huh, weapon, okay? Uh-huh, it's... uh-huh. Sure, yeah. um, sure. So uh, what you see there, Rasuan, is the is tons of blood and what looks like mounds of flesh. There is a man on the ground who is reaching out uh, in that direction. Whatever happened, this happened just probably like within within the hour. Like it's just occurred. And this man is just clinging to life and he's and he's trying to say something. I guess Raswan's gonna lead me. He says, my, my husband. They, he took my husband. And then he dies. Uh, okay. Uh, what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Raswan's just gonna be like, I tell you after, I tell you after. <laughs> And then he's going to keep moving forward, just, like, look, peering around just to see. Okay, know. roll uh, investigation. Anybody anybody who's uh, sort of investigating the area and what's going on, roll an investigation. <laughs> Can I see anything under the bridge? Rasuan, you see I kinda... shit. I don't, I don't investigate oh. at all. Uh, Rasuan's just going to walk forward. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, an unnatural twenty. Talus, you you so step in a in a mound of flesh that were the guts coming out of this gentleman on the ground, and they get stuck on your boots, and you just sort of are distracted for a moment with that. Um, let's see. Can a uh, Belgrath roll a survival for tracking since he knows it's a creature? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Actually, it could Bonnie as well. Uh, you've already rolled an investigation. You rolled really high, so you're going to get the same yeah, amount of information. Fine, um, My survival sucks. <laughs> Belgarath, you'd notice that um, there are giant footprints in the blood that's on the ground, and it seems to track with a dragging mark that moves across from here as you can see the blood is dragging so imagine this blood trail is dragging in this direction but there's giant what look like foot marks in the blood uh ben because you went over to the side of the bridge everybody else went onto the bridge when you look uh across over to here you see what looks like a cave Okay. <clears throat> so, hey, uh, there's a cave on the other side of the river here. So I'll come back to the bridge and follow everybody. Well, the creature I, uh, that did this is the blood trail went towards the cave, so... Adam, did I get the same information as Bob Uh, yes, you did. But Bonnie, I need you to now roll a history check, please. You are a trained monster hunter. <laughs> Ooh. No, I, I got advantage. Yeah, you rolled twice already. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Apparently he's not a trained you, monster. Uh, ha- having, <laughs> having trained... Sorry, having, like done this route a few times is there any chance that I might know what this maybe. is maybe I'll let you roll a um, I'll let you roll a history check she's not, not advantage no advantage 
She's got the right attitude for the show yeah. already. <laughs> Which is, hey, can't I do this? And then talk me into it. <laughs> well, I got an 18. Wow. Good job. Yes. But, okay. This is a creature for sure. I just don't remember which kind. I, uh, uh, this is probably a troll. Uh, yeah. Where, where do we pay the toll? <laughs> well, if we walk and run fast enough, we probably won't have to pay dick all, uh, which is my preference in this situation, because, uh, yeah, uh, I'd rather not get tangled up in this troll bullshit. It's, it's super sad, but oh, I've got places to... Oh, fuck. We're, we're going to go in that fucking cave, aren't we? We need to no. follow the blood. <laughs> now, we super okay. don't need to, but... <laughs> but... I agree. I think we should just turn a blind eye, forget we saw anything, and continue on. That's like what we did on the wagon. I like that. <laughs> yeah, but didn't that... That literally turned around and bit you in the neck, so... Bonnie, are you walking on the, the trail? I'm following the trail. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. <laughs> Taylor's is going to super sigh. Her shoulders drop. She pulls out her sword. Can She's going to go after the Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, Bonnie, you walk up to the cave. Roll a perception check. <laughs> Russell's just going to be like, don't get caught. Can I just investigate it without perception? It? <laughs> no, I just... Uh, you're just gonna look inside. You you said you're just looking inside, so just from a distance, how big is this cave? Like I I can see the entrance. You can see right? the entrance. So, like, oh. You would assume. <laughs> really, really. He sees nothing. Bonnie, no. oh Bonnie walks up to the cave to look inside. Hello. <laughs> and then suddenly slips on a rock and goes rolling into the cave. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh. Well. Looks like we have to save her. <laughs> I want to loot the dead body. Why are you going to loot the dead body? You son of a bitch. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, all right there, David. Yeah, we're all just grave robbers. <laughs> <Yeah. there. laughs> you're, you're, he might have information on us. You're the cousins, the cousins of the murder is, hobo. You know? uh, <laughs> or the hobo Jay's <laughs> family might want to know he's yep. dead. Yeah, that's, that's, that's for sure. This is a... Uh, <laughs> A, a noble, actually, from Storm Talon. You, uh, you find papers, which are a uh, deed to his property that he had just bought with his, uh, with his husband, and that they were uh, headed to Storm Talon. I'm going to rush into the cave after Bonnie, because no one else cares. Apparently, Rasuwan does, <laughs> apparently. Oh, I was going! I was going! <laughs> Dejectedly. <laughs> Dan 3, are you staying out? So, after the body... Oh, I was waiting for after everyone left the body. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. What are you going to do? Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Dan 3, just... are you, just, are okay. you gonna go? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go into the... Uh, yep. Yeah. Just, just write that now. down so you don't forget, okay? But yeah, I'm it's a, finding my it's a deed here. to a property. It's weird that you're getting the deed after Cedric and Campaign 1, but... Come on, now, is it that no, weird? No, it's not that weird. <laughs> you always collect people's property. Um, <laughs> Once a rogue, it's kinda, always kinda my a rogue. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, yeah. Uh, Thanthry, you're alone. So Thanthry's just going to uh, walk up to the dead body. And he's going to say a little prayer, and he's just going to shove it into the water. <laughs> Splash! As you pick up the body and shove it into the water. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. The, and then he notices everyone going to the cave, and he slowly... The water starts flowing. The body starts flowing up the river, and then flows into the cave. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what? Hello, surviving husband. Here's your dead husband. Uh, <laughs> we, we, we are the worst people. You, because as you can see, the water flows into the cave. <laughs> wasn't the plan. It was. Can, can we grab this body as yeah, it yeah, past? Gra- like, it past? <laughs> please. We'll all be uh, sort of going Push him down river. And, um... It. Bonnie's gone. Oh, and uh, then you'd see the body slowly floating up the river there. And Panthwee's following behind. <laughs> <laughs> you said the, that property was in Storm Talon? Yep. The D2 yep. Pro- 
How do I roll three zeros? Okay, I'm just saying. Only you could do it. Bad luck. Oh. Yeah, mad epic luck. <laughs> okay, so uh, who grabbed the body? Taylor, did you grab the body that was floating? Okay. Yeah, I. I you uh, it out. <laughs> How the yeah. hell did it get there? <laughs> it's like. <sighs> All right, all right. This is just no. In, in, no. Internal customs that you should send bodies out to the sea. <laughs> but this is going into a cave, lovely. But I, I, I thought it went down the other. I didn't see it go to a cave. Well, that's all right. It's, it's not a problem. We've uh, we've got the body now, and it's uh, it's gonna lie here so that when we save the other one. Uh, he'll be able to decide what to do with it, it then and put it out to sea uh, like okay. that. <laughs> okay. Or we could loot the body again. Apparently we just loot bodies and steal bones. <laughs> Wait. Again, Taylor hides her arms behind her back. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so ahead of you... I've done worse things. Ahead of you all, you would see uh, the blood trail continues on into the cave. Uh, there's also... The river seems to, to flow into here as well uh, a little bit. Um, yeah. Bonnie is nowhere to be seen. She rolled inside. We'll get to you. Uh, <sighs> seeing as Bonnie's not around, rest one's gonna kind of hurriedly rush ahead. Oh, wow. Yeah, Tyrannus is going to... Wait, you said it's a little bit of a yeah, stream? Yeah, the, the, okay, like... so right here, the, uh, cave entrance... Sorry, I don't have the right thing clicked. One second. Right here, the cave entrance, um, it slopes down. Uh, by the time you get to where Rasuan is, it's it descends about, um... Uh, 30 feet. It gets very deep here. So Bonnie, like, rolled down, and, and... Rasuan has nimbly made his way down here, but there's, like, a 30 feet difference between here and here. Do you want me to acrobatics, just in case? Yeah, you probably should, to be honest, and anybody else entering. Uh, Can uh, I hop in the water? It, I guess it, it's a it waterfall. It is like a waterfall, yes. It, it's, uh, it, okay. it's, it's enough to fit your body in, yeah. The water's flowing. Fuck it. Geronimo. I'm going to jump in the water and coast down the waterfall. Okay. That's a good roll, Ray. He's so quick. No water for me, though. Not after last time. Rasuan, fucking nat 20. Yeah, nat 20. Jeez. You nat 20 that shit. You just nimbly uh, run down. With your nat 20, I'm going to say you you hear deep, dark, heavy breathing from the far end of this cave. Uh, everybody else entering, and then I'm going to go to Bonnie real quick. Yep. Yeah. Thanthree's gonna jump in the water too and coast yeah, along. Uh, Thanthree, you don't have to roll anything then. You're a fucking turtle. I cannot <laughs> imagine that you'd have trouble with it. Uh, Belgarath. I drown in the water. <laughs> Bel- Belgarath. <laughs> oh, we are. Goes tumbling down, just rolling down. You don't get hurt or anything, but you end up on your ass. <laughs> Ow. Uh, ben, you slide down nimbly. Um. Talus, you do a little bit, but then you sort of trip at the end, but then you catch your footing and just, like, awkwardly get to the bottom. Um, yeah, nobody saw that. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, covered in water and, like, clearly, obviously fucked. Bonnie, you just sort of roll back and forth, holding your head like, whoa. Um, as you're within a dark cave and you're touching something wet and mushy. Okay. <clears throat> and I will... Can I, can I see what it oh, is? Nice. Like, if I look at it? it yeah, it is. The, uh, it's, it's a dead body that has been just torn apart, and it looks like it's been bit all over. All right. I will loot it. Roll. Okay. okay. You're going to loot it? <laughs> That's oh, what you're going to choose to do? <laughs> okay. Every fucking time. <laughs> like, like I said, once a rogue, always a rogue. Okay. <laughs> It's true. As you suddenly, Bonnie, you hear. Oh, shit. Uh, since you've decided to spend your time looting rather than looking at your surroundings, you are <laughs> charged by a giant troll. Oh, fuck. You're, you're fucked. <laughs> he claws at you. What, and then. When, it, when, it, when the monster goes near, you, it, then it would hear, 
Monsters like you deserve to die. Do we all hear that? You all hear that echo throughout the cave. <laughs> oh shit, Susie's talking again, boys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just kind of look around. <laughs> yeah, Taylor, this is what we are talking about. Bonnie's weird. <laughs> David, ten, t- 10 to AC. Uh, 11 to AC. Miss. 22 to AC. You take Split. 8 piercing damage as it goes to claw at you twice. How do you dodge the two claw attacks? Um, well, she would dodge, she would move out of the way as soon as uh, she heard Susie say that. Yeah, the first claw attack. And then she turned around. She'd turn around and, and, and like, block it with her blade, the yeah, second one. Yeah, the second one. one, you just, you would all hear ting as uh, Bonnie is, uh, parries the second claw attack from this giant troll. And just in his frost, he just, ah, and he bites at you. And he gets you right on your arm. And he takes eight piercing damage, Bonnie. All right. Roll for initiative. Rasuab. Uh, so, uh, six. Six, okay. Belgraph. Uh, five. <laughs> oh my god, Tyrannus. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, Thanthwi. Eleven. Bonnie. Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, Ben. Six. Six. Okay. Uh, Talus. Twenty-one. Okay. And I'm gonna roll for... I rolled eighteen. Start. Okay. Uh, Bonnie. You're first. That's new. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys right. see the turn order? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's. Yeah, new. I know it, it's uh, implemented now. Yeah. All right. So my turn. Yeah. All right. So she back. <laughs> You're gonna die. And then she's going to uh, amplify blood curse blood of agony on him. Yep. Which means she's going to take a one. <clears throat> oh no, she didn't take anything for that one. No. All right. So that one's fine, and then she's that's as a bonus action, and then she's going to attack with her body's bane. Okay. Twenty-two. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay, so it's uh, one hand is six piercing. Six piercing. Okay. What is going on here? Six damage. Okay. Yeah, this troll, yeah, ahead of you, Bonnie, it just, it it stinks, it just smells, it's full of sweat, it's got uh, uh, dark green skin, gnarled teeth, uh, long uh, black hair, its eyes, though, uh, are red with yellow rings around it, it's just got this huge jaw and these super long nails on its claws, you you stab at it into its arm, just, and then it's sort of a... Screams at you. Is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Talus. Okie dokie. Uh, Talus would like to close the distance between her and mm-hmm. the troll. So she's standing next okay. to Bonnie. Uh, check that that's actually what included, probably. I hope so. Um, she is going to. Uh, well, I better move my token, haven't I? Sorry, I'm not it's used all to it. <laughs> I know, right? Weird. <laughs> We don't, we don't, we don't use maps and minis, so this is oh, very really? confusing for me. Um, yeah, we just we theorem it's on okay. everything. Um, yeah, so she she rushes forward, and as she does, uh, she yells, um, "Fuck you!" And uh, she's going to rage, and then she's going to attack the mm-hmm. fucker, um, because fuck that guy. Attack him with your uh, rapier. Yep. Oh yeah. Uh, I hope did it do something? Mm-hmm. It did. Okay. So I think that's a 10. That misses. So your rapier just sort that's... of uh, cuts against one of its claws and just pulls its arm back and looks at you and then just in response. That's okay. I'm exactly where I want to be. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm locking dagger eyes with it. That was my bonus. That was my action and my move. Okay. So next is the troll. Considering you've come up now, he's just going to uh, slash... He's just going to slice and dice you up there, Talus. All right, bring it, little man. So he's going to do one claw against you, one claw against Bonnie. Uh, I will put that at disadvantage, oh, okay. please, because I have protection. All right. So 13 days see. Oh, no, no, no. The disadvantage is if it was attacking Bonnie. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So... Yeah, so, so the protection works is where I basically 20, put my shield 26 up, so. AC for the first claw against you. 
yeah, that one. That Nine one, that slashing one hits. That's, that's fine. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. All right, so that's with okay. Bonnie, I rolled the first one. So with the second attack, it's 13 to AC, Bonnie. Miss. Misses. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> the shield just goes and then straight in front a fight of your face. Against Talus, uh, 21 to AC. Nine yeah, more damage. Hits. He just okay. bites it. I'm, uh, I'm looking a little yep. peaky. <laughs> right, I'm a little picky. Uh, the troll will take two more damage. Okay. Oh, actually, hold on. And the troll needs to make a roll. Yeah, what, what is uh, it con? I'm almost positive it's con, so. I think it's I think it is constitution. Uh, what kind of damage did it just do to me? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that is. Uh, piercing damage. Or, sorry, okay, one, so one that's slashing half. and one piercing to you. <laughs> one slashing and one piercing. Well, what I mean is the uh, claw was uh, slashing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, piercing. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I get half on each, yeah. so that's uh, four and five, so that's nine yeah. in total. Always. Okay, great. Okay, I don't look okay. so bad. I'm okay. I'm okay. So we took that's the two right, damage, guys. and now the curse will end. Okay. Because he rolled 17, so he beat my constant. He beat the, um, yep, the limit. Okay, uh, that's the end of his turn. Tyrannus, your turn. So, I'm Tyrannus is going to swim down the the stream <laughs> and emerge on this side here, um, and I have 40 movement because of my uh, my garments uh, from the light yep. keeper. Um, and the first thing he's going to do is cast Shield of Faith on uh, Talus. You would just see this uh, weird electrical magic start to sort of zap around you as uh, this uh, shimmering field protects you. In, in my rage, I totally think it's my goddess. <laughs> <laughs> You're... But I your, 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 you. goddess, <laughs> your goddess is a male blue dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> she would appreciate that, actually. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb at the troll. Yeah. Oh my your god. Chromatic Orbs have suck lately. <laughs> um, yeah. They're horrible. So that's, that was a nine, so I assume yeah, that, that misses. Yeah, that misses. The lightning just sort of shoots off to the side. You just, it, it's dark in here. You can't perfectly see. You just uh, shot it off just a bit to the side, and the chromatic orb uh, failed. And that's all I did. Thanthwee. So Thanthwee's going to uh, continue in the water yep, as yep. well. But he is going to stay in the water, and he is going to first, as his bonus action, cast uh, actually Shield of Faith on Bonnie. <laughs> Shield of Faith. <laughs> Ooh, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was gonna nice. be my Can plan. Can you cast? Him? Yeah, but she's already got one. <laughs> no, Bonnie doesn't. No, no. no. Taylor. Oh, he gave the body. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, you gave yours to Taylor. Yeah, I gave. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I got it straight now. I was like, how do two shields of faith work? Can you, you do that? I don't think so. Be like, there's nothing. That's Actually, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. it's only if you cast. Interesting. They could. I'll have a look. I'll Google this. Way I mean, it's not important because it didn't happen, but I was just curious. Um, okay, so Bonnie yeah. has a, sh uh, a shimmering shield of... You, you get a shield around you yes. now, Bonnie. It looks like water, like flowing, bright teal water. Feel no. Oh, it says no. No, you can't stack yeah. them. I didn't Aww. think so. Right. I didn't think so. All right. Anyway. Uh, so that's then, my AC. Whoop, whoop. He is going to cast... Guiding bolt at first level. Okay. There we go. 16. That hits. So that'll be 11 radiant damage. Oh shit. Okay. You guys would just see the suddenly a bright light just smashes against the troll. Water um, explodes from the light and just burns against the troll's corrupted skin and boils. It's. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, and that will be the end of Thanthree's turn. Okay. Next is Rasuan. How wide is the little creek thingy? The water? 
uh, as wide as it looks, about, uh, I'd say about six feet across the little river. So, like, this is this is flowing, and it's about six feet deep, six feet across, and then this here is uh, elevated a little bit. Okay, uh, Rasmus gonna. Would that be difficult to raid? To cross? You could jump over with double movement. Good thing I got a lot of movement. He's gonna make his way, jump across, be almost uh, like diagonal. Yep. To the troll, and then he's gonna yeet, yeet, delete, and throw the. Javelin of lightning. Oh shit, okay. By the way, Adam, I'm just realizing that my roll did not incorporate the plus one that I have from the trident. Um, I just have to remember that. that it, it would have been a ten. But Yeah, the ten still would have missed, but that's good to know. Yeah. I might have to do this manually. Okay, so I just gotta see if it hits first, and then I'll have to do part of it manually. Okay, are you uh, trying to get flanking? Uh, I mean, am, am I flanking from where no. I am? Is it turned towards? Yeah, it's more, it's more or less uh, like, like this right now. You could get flanking uh, from over okay. here. I could. I okay. Okay. I just. <sighs> holy shit! Never mind. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. God yeah, damn. Yeah. Now the way we do crits is we double the damage add mods once. Yep. Um but I don't think D D Beyond does it that way. D D Beyond rolls it twice. It just rolls it twice. I don't like that, so um So calculate that ray and just tell me what the damage is, because I hate the way this looks. This is confusing. Okay, so I would have thrown the javelin. Is that 46? Okay. So I did 11 base, but if you're doubling it, then it's 22. Uh, just 22 lightning damage, and technically I have to hit with the javelin, which is a 1d6. Which it's not rolling properly, so it gave me a 5 plus 3. So 22, if you're doubling... Am I doubling everything? No, you just double the damage, add mods once. Well, it hits with lightning and then the javelin. Yeah, because the lightning damage is extra. So double the javelin's damage. Damage. Double the lightning damage that adds to that javelin. (laughs) And then add your mods. Okay, 36 in total. What? What? It's 20... It's 11 doubled... So that's 22. Then I did a Jesus. 5 for my javelin damage, which is now a 10. And then plus the Rasuan just nimbly hops over the river, takes out a javelin of lightning, just one perfect throw. It just stabs into the back of this troll. You just see... And uh, just the lightning striking him. It cuts him in his back and then cuts off his uh, right arm. And his right arm just falls down to the ground, shaking. Man. Shit. Yeah. Tyrannus has a lightning bow. Hold on one second, sorry. <laughs> I see why you use a lightning now, Tyrannus. That was fucking sick, man. Heather. I channel my inner blue crocodile. <laughs> sorry, you told me before. It's a dragon. Yeah, I'm not a fucking crocodile. <laughs> it's a sorry, sorry. Wow, fuck, that was a lot of damage. His arm falls to the ground. Um, I'm just going to do this because I have reasons. We're going to say this is his arm, okay? (laughs) I just, I don't have a token that's on arm. But, uh... So, uh, Tyrannus, you want the spear? Yeah, I was going to ask to trade it earlier, but... (laughs) (laughs) I have a uh, medallion of thoughts... So I'm weighing which one I want more. The arm just, his right arm goes falling off. He just zapped. The javelin is just stuck in his, uh, where the arm is. And uh, the, the troll just lets out a mighty <laughs> in pain. Um, massive damage, Ray. Wow. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, that is a- <laughs> Okay. Uh, Belgrath. So, hey now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm because, sorry. Uh, it's not you. <laughs> sorry. Oh, yeah, it's him. Uh, ben, your turn. 
Rude. So, I just want to shoot him in the face. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. This is whether or not it works out that way. So I'll just uh, <clears throat> pull out my guns. Oh yes, Talus, you see these other odd contraptions made of technology <laughs> that uh, shoot out bullets. Let's see. Uh, they first don't one. seem to work. And they don't seem to work? <laughs> no. First one's an 11, the second one's a 7. Uh, they both miss. <laughs> yeah. The aim is not right. <laughs> is that the end of your turn? Yeah, that's, uh, that's okay. all I got. <clears throat> Next is uh, Belgrath. Your turn. So Belgrath is going to run up to the creature, and as he's running up, he will rage. Mm-hmm. Nice. Let me just activate that, okay? And he will... Um, reckless attack <laughs> the creature with his... Uh, with his uh, mighty bone. Okay. So I get advantage on my attack. Actions. Uh... Alright, you didn't move your token. Where'd you go? No, I didn't. Oh. I thought I did move it. I would have been right on top of Bonnie, pretty much. Okay, yeah, so you, you walk up, you attempt to hit it with the bone, it just, you, 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 you fail, Belgarath. Um, is that okay. the end of your turn? Uh, yes, that's the Bonnie. end of your turn. Um, she'll attack it with Bonnie's Bane, and then she'll <coughs> attack it with uh, the claw. Okay. So... Again. Ben and Belgarath ain't doing shit in this fight. There's Bonnie's Bane, and... Okay. Where's the other? <clears throat> oh, okay. both miss. Oh boy, guys, bad rolls. Oh. <laughs> Turning the tide. Okay. Uh, <laughs> is that the end? Yeah. Okay. Next is Taylor's. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna drop my rope here, pick up its arm, and beat it to death. And beat it with its own arm. Yes. Like you're. I have Tavern Brawler. It's improvised, so I will just continue beating it. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> when you go... Technically have the javelin. Here, here, here's, here's the thing. When you go to uh, grab the arm, it slashes at you. What? Oh, this is great. It's attacking on its own. Great. I just need to grab the other end of it. So okay. it does, it does take, take it. a hit. Oh, wow. <laughs> ten, 10 slashing damage. Uh, that's five, because I'm okay. raging. My wife just brought me tacos. What is this, a ritual thing? Oh, I don't Mine's know. Tacos. I don't have any tacos. Except for... Thank you. The correct answer is thank, thank you, you, Adam. Heather, sorry, can you get me some water, please? Wow. Shut up. <laughs> there was a please. There was a please. <laughs> dude, it, it, if you got... It, dude, I'm going to have to go 25 minutes to fucking Taco Bell now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, let's keep this keep going. So, uh, t- t- Taylor, uh, you Denise took uh, the five slashing today. damage, but you are holding it now. But I, unfortunately, Great. when you did reach for it, it would it would have attacked you, right? You're trying to grab the thing. So, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to grab it by the non slashy okay. end. Yeah. So that when I beat it with yeah. its own arm, the slashy end that's, is hitting it in the amazing. face. That's That is so amazing. <laughs> Technically, right. <sighs> that's two attacks you get then, right? Yeah, I think that's that's how this works, right? You, you smack it, and then it smacks itself. Yeah, yeah. So it also does its own pride that damage. Is, that is freaking amazing. <laughs> so you just pick up this arm and slash it, you're like, fuck, but then you're holding the end, and the, the arm is just going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you start beating it with its own arm. <laughs> All right, let's let's do this. Um, now, would it have the same strength and stats as the actual troll? Like, <laughs> no, it's, it's it's an improvised that weapon. Works? Oh my I, god, I, it was this cool. is so cool! I'm gonna give you advantage. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I really fuck it up. I don't know what it did. Oh no! And it's a the six. Just flailing, <laughs> just holding the arm. It's like he's able to, to to move the arm in such a way that he doesn't hit himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What a bastard. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, let me see if I've got anything on my bonus. 
Oh, a bunch of stupid bonus shit. Wouldn't that mean if you stab, just hit the arm, he'll take the damage? Okay, so... You're welcome to try that if you want and waste your time. Uh, is that... I feel like he's saying no. Is that, is that the end of your turn? <laughs> he tricks you sometimes uh, like that, though. Yeah, no, I've already done, like, my channel divinity, which was okay. my rage, so... I, um, so now... I don't think I any bonus It's his spells. turn. You would see as the javelin that's stuck uh, in his shoulder, in his arm there, suddenly just sort of pops out. And you'd see his his right arm start to regenerate a little bit. And he looks a bit healthier now. So he's healing himself. Okay, and then he's going to... that uh, The arm is going to come back at you, Talus, to attack at you. Or actually, no, the you're so okay. close to uh, Bel- Belgrad, the arm is in your hand going to turn itself and attack Belgrad <laughs> at disadvantage because you're holding it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Belgrath, 15 to AC. You take nine <laughs> slashing damage, but your rage, just remember. <laughs> yeah, but I take half. Talus, Rage Talus, buddies. Talus, so, suddenly you just feel the arm <laughs> yank, and you're like, whoa! And it moves, <laughs> and it starts slashing at uh, Belgrath instead. This is chaos. Oh, my bad! <laughs> my bad! Sorry! The other... Watch where, where you aimed at, though. Uh, the <laughs> troll itself uh, then will claw at uh, Bonnie. Protection disadvantage. I think I have to call it before you hit. Disadvantage? So. Okay. Yep. It might nat one and kill itself, so yeah. I'll take that chance. Oh my god, it did! What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh, the nat, I got a one. nat one. What does that mean? Uh, it, 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 the troll itself attempted to slash at you, Bonnie, um, and, and then miss. I'm going to say, like, uh, you, you are able to parry and then get yourself an attack off. I'm going to let you attack it. Nice. Just one quick uh, attack. Yeah. Actually, even better. I'll, I'll do it with Wister's Claw. Ooh. Oh, god damn. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh, god. Jeez. A nat. That's a nat 20. That's oh. four, eight. Um, now one to a nat seven. 20. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 damage total. So so, she, so the dark claw comes out of her other hand and she just slices up 13 to slash of them. How is it 13? It seems like more because it... Well, it's hold on, let me see. 1d4, my, my, which is 4, so four okay, eight, 8, and plus, plus five. 5. Gotcha, okay. So 13 damage, wow. Yeah, so uh, it, it, it attempts to swing at you and then just what does it look like when the dark claw uh, happens? I don't think you've ever uh, really well, described it. You always say my dark. Do you have clock. a picture of it? Like, do you, do you, I don't know how to copy this picture. Of you don't it. have to copy the picture. The just uh, this is an audio podcast, so you, you need to explain <laughs> it. The picture will do I anything. Know, so, a dark shadowy claw, like four times the size of my hand, pops out of my wrist, covers my hand, and it just slices. Yeah. Up. <laughs> what type of damage is that again? Uh, uh, necrotic? Necrotic, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... Is, oh. That is oh, the oh, end. Yeah, Actually, it, it does get a bite. It still gets a bite. So it's going to try to bite Belgrath. It hit, it hit in that one. It probably shouldn't get a bite. Yeah, you got the attack in. <laughs> uh, 21 days C, Belgrath. Yes, half damage. Five, so. so you take uh, uh, two, two, take two piercing damage. Okay. All right. So, next is that's the end of the troll's turn. Tyrannus, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna move behind okay, just it to here. Let you know the javelin's fallen. It's just laying about here. On the ground. Okay. I'm tempted, but I don't think I'm gonna. I'm not saying you're gonna use it. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Um, I'm casting chromatic orb again. 
Uh, this time I'm going to use fire damage. See if that's... Come on! Advantage, right? What You're is... flanking it? Yeah, I'm flanking. Please. Yeah, there's so Please many of us. That's <laughs> yeah. All right. God. Go ahead. It's a nat one, but we're all all going to give you the advantage. Yay. Yay. 18? You're our benevolent leader, thank you. <laughs> well, it, it, it definitely doesn't see Tyrannus, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, eight, yeah, 18 hits. Yeah, and that's a... F- so that does, yeah, 22, 22 fire, fire damage. Fire damage, wow. You fuck him up. Suddenly, you guys would just see the yeah. troll just burst into flames. He's like, Aah. I just need to uh, see something here. Just need to roll this. The other arm falls off in flames to the side. Nice. Nice. This is the other arm. It's like a little troll. <laughs> So now it's no arms, it's just up in the air, its body is a flame, and it's just its hair is slowly charring and burning to ash, and it just lets out a mighty echoey roar. And uh is that the end of your turn, Tyrannus? Uh I'm going to use my tempestuous magic and without opportunity attacks, I'm gonna fly back to okay. here. And that's the end of my turn. Your turn. All right. So next is Stanthwe. What do you do? So I'm gonna, you know, swim a little bit closer. <laughs> Still gonna be in the water there. And then <clears throat> he is going to cast. He's gonna cast guiding bolt at second level. Okay. Nineteen. 19. Banthwee. Which How do you kill the troll? So he's just going to stick his head and hands out of the water, kind of like wave his hands in the air, and then just shoot a... Yeah, just, I would imagine like a bolt that kind of like shape of a water. Yeah, yeah. So may, maybe like the water like, slowly grows in your hands, and then you just sort of slap them together. It creates like this elongated like spear of water. Yeah. yeah, and then and then just launches launch at the so troll's So the troll's head. just like, Aah! and all of a sudden you guys would just see the sharp spear of water go, Ding! and then its head just topples over to the ground, and its body falls into a heap of flame. And as soon as it falls, you hear, "Are we too strong for you?" That's okay. That's creepy. Yeah. And the troll is dead. Congratulations. Yay. I go pick up my spear. (laughs) Bonnie would skip over and start digging at it. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Of course. Uh, I reach over to Belgrath. How how low upon the hit point value are you? Oh, by the way, if you're looking at me, I am a yep. goblin that looks like a dragonborn. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot to right change now. out your thing. Not looks like a dragonborn. He just has uh, dragon scales. Hold on. And he's there. red. He turns red. <clears throat> I turn red, and I have like scale. My skin turns almost scaly. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Uh, I think that might shock me out of my reach, <laughs> and I'm still gonna put my hand like on your shoulders, like it's all right, uh, it's dead now, and I'll kind of like pat him. Oh no, I can't because I have bloody arms. I just reach over and kind of like hug him in a way, so that at least my torso is touching him, so I can lay on hands for like ten or something. I don't know how many hit points you're down. Not that much. <laughs> uh, okay, how much? How much are you missing? Uh, I'm at. Uh, Max is 29, I'm at 23. Oh yeah, then I'll give you the 6, I'll top you up. Awesome. Who knows what might attack us between here and and anywhere else. Um, you would see the arms are still flailing on the ground. <laughs> oh, I chuck mine in the river. <laughs> Bonnie cuts off fingers off of one of them. And Rasuan, as you were walking up, are Gross. you grabbing your spear? I am you pick, pick up your spear and you see on the ground the head of the troll 
and its eyes dart over and look at you, and it's like... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna light a torch and set it on fire. Because the head lights on fire and burns away. Okay. And I think that's where we're going to end the episode, guys. Okay. Yeah. One question I have before yeah. you do. Did I get anything from that body that I investigated? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> before, when the, when the troll attacked me, you never told me if I actually got anything. Once a rogue, always a rogue. <laughs> Once yeah. a loot corpse. <laughs> Roll an investigation check quick. I did. I thought I got like a 17 or something, but I'll re-roll. You don't understand. On campaign zero, if he killed a mouse, he would loot that body. <laughs> well, yeah. You never know what that rat could have. Um, 18. Food, what could be in its belly. You find, you find shit, four man. gold and 50 silver. Okay. <laughs> they still have money after buying a house? What kind of economy are we living in? <laughs> They're rich. Yeah. They're nobles. They were rich. Now yeah. we're rich. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm going to open up Ben's corner. That was before you guys came down, technically. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's where we're going to end the episode. I want to thank everybody for listening. Woo! Don't forget to go to stubbornheroes.com. We just updated the website. Uh, Parker put a lot of work into it. It's amazing. And um, I suggest that you look very close, very deep, because there's something in there nobody's found yet. So um, also, we want to, of course, thank um, our guests today. Uh, thank you Hi. so much, uh, uh, Valanda, for uh, joining us. And you'll be joining us again. Don't worry. This isn't the end that you're... It's not like Taylor's just going to disappear, jump into a bush like Belgrath and disappear now. Um, <laughs> I went and hid in a box and that's the end of my tale. <laughs> um, uh, there's still a, few, a little bit of an adventure still to go on. This was just the beginning. Um, so I hope you're enjoying it. Um, don't forget to uh, check out uh, her podcast, which is The Lucky Die. You can find it on all the podcasting apps um, or just Google it. I believe you're on YouTube as well, right? Yeah, we have a YouTube. Somehow someone managed to make all that shit work. Yeah. That wasn't me. Um, so now everything is on there. It's also on the website. Yeah, we so. recently just started uploading to YouTube as well. So, yeah, check out all of our YouTubes. Check out all the things, okay? <laughs> and, of course, we want to thank all of our patrons. Without you, uh, none of this would be possible. We wouldn't have gotten our upgraded mics. We wouldn't have uh, all the amazing ways of uh, still doing this through a pandemic um, so uh, thank you so much uh, and, and if you're watching on YouTube you'll you'll see all of our patrons right now their names will be scrolling you see all those names guys yeah if I I hate them out there. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. whoa is that one like is that like demonic script what does it say oh, oh my god <laughs> mom no! Wait. Ah! Anyways, guys, Wait. thank you for uh, listening, and uh, <laughs> and don't read the demonic script that just came up on the screen. Okay, you'll you'll summon a demon that will look like your mother. You'll regret okay? it. <laughs> and uh, until next time. Bye. 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 Bye.